Are you frustrated with back pain when trying to sleep? You're not alone. Today I'm going to show you three tips that you can do to help eliminate your back pain so you can wake up refreshed, rejuvenated, and ready to take on your day. So if you're ready to say goodbye to restless nights filled with back pain and hello to some pain-free days, let's dive in. So the first thing we have to understand is that a lot of painful backs are relieved by teaching yourself how to foster a more neutral spine. Here's what I mean. That's better. Let me explain. A neutral spine when laying on your back is going to have a slight curve. Now, short of changing your mattress, which can be helpful for some people, one thing you can do to help support this neutral spine is strategically use some towels or pillows. In this position, the back is going to be elevated off the ground. Now, especially if you're someone that may have a little bit bigger butt, your back is going to be well off the table or the bed. So what we can do is take a towel and place it underneath the spine to help support that back. If you're someone that maybe has back pain due to a flexion intolerance, meaning bending of your spine triggers your pain, having some support right here can limit that bending that occurs when your hips are off or pushing your spine off the bed. Your back has to bend a little bit as you sink down into the bed. So a towel roll like this can be really helpful. Same thing when you're on your side, we can also have a towel roll like that. Now, let's talk about how this looks in real life. So here's our real life example. We have the towel underneath the torso right here for the side sleeper that has back pain, supporting the spine in a more neutral position and limiting that side bending that for some people could trigger their pain. Another helpful uh, thing is to take a pillow and place it underneath the knees. Now, what this is going to do is help sort of lock the spine and the pelvis into a better position for some people because for some, that movement that you may get out of your pelvis when your leg drops may place an uneven force on the spine. And for some people, that is a trigger for their pain. So for that person, just placing a pillow between the knees and or supporting the spine in this position with a towel can help that side sleeper get a little bit better sleep. So let's go back to the person that has back pain when sleeping on their back. So again, in this position, for someone that may have a little bit bigger hips and is flexion intolerant, actually what Stephanie's dealing with right now, if she were to take this away, you can see that she has a little bit of an arch right here. So when she sleeps on her back, that can actually foster a little bit of that bending of the spine and trigger a little bit of pain. So by just placing this underneath the spine, now we're in just a little bit of a better position. And the third tip, that we need to go over is for the person that has pain rolling over in bed. Now this is something that Stephanie particularly has been dealing with. So when you roll over middle of the night, you're just sort of going and you're moving as much as you can to the side. And if that's what triggers that pain, often that's a sign of an instability within the spine. So what that means is that the spine actually will have a little bit of uncontrolled micro movement that is triggering your pain. So for that person that has pain rolling over in bed, tip three is going to be stabilizing your spine by just stiffening your core slightly as you move. So as you transition from your side to your back into the other side, I want you to think about stiffening your core. Here's how you can do that. I want Stephanie to take her fingers and sort of push it into your stomach on your lateral stomach. And you're going to engage your ab muscles in a way that sort of push the stomach laterally. So you'll feel some stiffness build up in your core muscles. That's what you want to maintain as you then rotate your whole pelvis. And I want you to think of your back and your pelvis, your legs sort of moving as one. And that will help limit any excessive motion within that spine that may be triggering your pain. So let's see what that looks like. So we're gonna create a little bit of stiffness and then we're gonna rotate together as you go back. So you're going to limit a lot of twisting that may occur with an unbraced spine. And at first, this is something that can help a lot of people who have that spine instability actually move in bed with less pain. And as your pain winds down, you may not have to worry about this as much because you'll have more pain-free capacity. But early on, if twisting and moving in bed creates pain, this can be a really helpful trick. So again, guys, we have three tips for today. We had a towel underneath the low back for the back sleeper, for the side sleeper, a pillow under the knees, and the low back as well to foster that neutral spine. And tip three was making sure that you maintain a little bit of stiffness within the core when you are transitioning if you're that person that gets triggered pain like that. Hope this allows you to finally get some pain-free sleep. Till next time, guys. 
Have a great night.